Hello, and welcome back to Awesome Ichthyotic. It's awesome you're here. And welcome back to more of Banished. And already in year 37. And our population is growing. We definitely need a larger population. But we're getting there. We just uh, kind of have to watch out that uh, we don't grow too fast. But then again, also not too slow. So in a previous episode, we've marked all the streets to get renovated, so... Yes, that's gonna be a long time before we uh, have all the streets fixed up. But we do have quite a lot of stone in store. Now let's see what we have. Beacon seeds. Ooh, I think... Do we have beacons already? I don't think so. Squash, cabbage, pepper. We do have walnuts. Let's see what we can trade. We probably need some more. Oh no, we, we actually can. Maybe... Get this and hide codes. 51 of them? How does that go? No, 50. 49. No, 47. Yeah, that's fine. There we go. So let's get another orchard. Where should we get an orchard? We spent too much in here, the hunting cabin. We can kind of go around the hill over here. That should be okay. Let's get another orchard. 10 into 10. Yes, that's marked. Awesome. Now let's immediately plan a stone road around it. Did that actually go? I'm not sure. There we go. That will be cleared up. Parlin was born. Alias a student. I just really hope that we will get some... Uh, some, 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 something at least. Uh, some animals. Although maybe... Uh, we can actually have a pasture somewhere else, and then this will just be our farming area. You know what, Let, let's do that. Let's, let's just get rid of these. Onets has become a student. Lessie. And Lethany has become a student. So we are at 20 students right now. Wow. We also have the mine going on here. So we're now producing steel tools. And... We are storing some, so that's good. We are uh, well ahead. Our quarry, 74% remaining of stone. And we have four laborers. I wonder where they are working on the streets right now. I don't really see them working anywhere. It's definitely not in just yet. Oh, I think here, over here they're working on it. It might just be a... Uh, it's far away to actually get the uh, trees. The trees. Wow. I was looking at a dead, this dead tree. Not the trees. The stones. But here the herbalist has reached their maximum. Do we have anyone in the hospital? Nobody. Juliano has become a student. That means we have 11 students over here. And another 10 over there. That's nicely balanced. Field builders. Hmm. Matthew died of old age. So what do we need more people on? Stone cutters, miners, I think that's okay. Vendors. Not really, I think. The market seem to be holding up fine. Zachary has become a student. Coro, Bennett and Brion were born. Wow. You know what? Let's just get two more foresters. And we only have one laborer though. But oh, that's okay. But there we go. Wylindin has become a laborer now as well. So look at all that. One point I also kind of would like to expand over here. Get a different village going on, but... 
You will need to wait just a little bit longer before we can do that. You know, kind of like get a church on this side. That would be nice. Small fillets here or something. A bit more on this side as well. We can kind of plan it by, you know, at least putting down some road. Why not? So let's say up till there. And now it's really difficult to see where it is. There we go. At least the snow is going away. Just kind of around here. And then maybe a nice market on this side. Have some housing around it. Well, that sounds pretty good. I actually wonder if there's a way to see if we have any free housing. Look at the food. It's going up though. No mats, nobody. Trade items. Still quite a lot of things pending. Overview. Educated 78% as of all the nomads that we took in. But we're getting there. At some point we will also have to open this mine for iron. And I have to plan for another quarry maybe. Oh maybe on this yeah, on the on the other wow, on the other side here, why not? So let's get one more gatherer. We definitely need a few more fishermen. So our food supplies are okay, they're not the best. But we're doing okay. So let's see. We farmers. Then we can go for a few more farmers as well. I think it's fine to first max out the uh, jobs we have here. And then over here, either a few more orchards or some crop fields. And how's the road getting along? Uh, it's, it's getting there. That's not too bad. So over here we have. A hunter, a gatherer, one more gatherer. So they can actually literally live on their own. So it wouldn't be too bad of a thing to maybe expand a little bit already. Maybe over here. Hmm. Should we move over here or have some extra housing on this side? We can extend the path here. Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. We just move from here all the way up to here. There we go. This is a forester. It's just mostly the gather and the hunter, but on this corner that should be okay. So let's also grab a few stone housing. One, two. Two of them? And maybe if we turn them around. Three and four. Like a small corner over there. And we'll see what that looks like once they've cleared all the things. Artis was born. Gregory born. Ashwari has become a student. Yeah, quite a population now. Kind of do want to bump up the fishermen. I think it uh, will be a good move to do that. Forster is rather busy here. Ooh, firewood is also going down. We have one wood cutter. We have two wood cutters. So wow, it's it's impressive that they're not being able to really keep up. And nomads arrived. 90 nomads are requesting citizenship. Uh, we'll take our education level down. It's 90 nomads. But we kind of need a workforce almost. But looking at the balance we've got now, I... I mm, mm, no. 
I think we really have to be careful. Actually, we, we have a few people in the boarding house already. So... Let's first make sure that everything here is stable and that our food doesn't drop anymore. The house is over there. That looks pretty cool. I think it's also nice to have a... Whoops, not a uh, house. And a stone road going up to the mine. There we go. As well as to this mine. Hmm... No, let's just extend it over there. I have a stockpile here of some iron. We have a huge stockpile here with quite a lot of stone. A few extra houses over there. Our beacons are being planted. Nice. Got a lot more laborers now. And a merchant. Please have some animals. No, peach. Ooh, peaches. We have plums. We don't have peaches. I would like to trade for that. And I think we can pretty much do the same trade. Around 47 of these. There we go. So that means... Another orchard over here. With peaches. Wow. So then if we look at the trade items, still a lot of things. So we know that, well, sheep, we, we don't have them anymore currently. But um, I assume cows and chickens will be there. Uh, quite a lot more things. Oh. Huh. Well, we started our settlement with onions as well. And we don't have these here, so I assume onion seeds as well. Let's increase the number of farmers. There we go, 14. And then we can keep two laborers for now. Firewood is going up. Stored logs. We are managing. I, I think the forest a lot is fine. It's just a lot of that, of course, gets transported again over here. But we have no 45 in there. That's okay. Let's dismiss the merchant because he bought all his seeds anyway. Elvis was born. We now have 93 people. I am getting a little bit worried though about our uh, uh, food supply. Reserve of stone is low. That's fine. We will, we will get there. We will manage that. Also quite a lot of stone here. Also up for gathering. And well, of course most of the stone is no use for... The streets. That's we are managing. I wonder if it's uh, the builders that do this or if it's the laborers because that's if it's laborers it makes sense why it's going so slow. Fifteen students. Wow, just look at all these crops over here. The barn is not too full though. The house is over here, people immediately moving in. So does that mean our uh, boarding house is empty again? Awesome. I think maybe a boarding house on this side. You know, just, just something different. Might be nice. Looks good though. Although, is it a wooden boarding house or is this also stone? Hmm. It looks like stone. Well, I think it's stone. It's just a different type of roofing. Our tavern. No materials. Ah, no apple. Let's have a look on what we have most of. Although we have like 200 stored. Anyway, carrots. I can't really make carrots ale. Plum. We have quite a lot of plums. That's pretty nice. Let's. Oh, berries. Let's make berries. You know what? Let's use uh, some, some berry ale. There we go. It's been a rainy year this year. I wonder if we can get a street on the sides here as well. Can we squeeze something in? 
Nope. Maybe uh, around the back here. That will do. Although... I wouldn't really know why. It's actually nice to just maybe have this as a... Tunnel and then that's... A separate thing. A bunch of people have become students. Nobody in the boarding house just yet. Parlin born. Mauricio, Alpha and Genelope and Kinda have become students. Let's, uh, let's give it some time with our laborers and see if they actually fix up the streets. Because it doesn't really... Uh, let's, see. let's reduce the amount of builders. Because we're not really building anything. The houses have been built. And that all four of them are occupied. Mechanissa? Me Mechanissa has been... Come a student. A lot of... Uh, a random name generator of this game. It's something special. So let's see. We've got our stone houses here. Hunting cabin over here. Hmm. Gatherers hut. We can maybe over here have a really nice farming area or uh, animal farms. Or. Do we want to have that over on this side, that we have a, you know, fruits and veggies on one side of the well, mountain? Animals on the other side? Rens is the farmer died, but Mosselamé has replaced the farmer. I have one more laborer now. So let's just see if we have our... Road somewhere around here. I can plan a nice market here. We will definitely need something of a market to uh, get all the goods over here. Now I'm just trying to see where the path ends. That's over there. So if we place it here, we can have the path go around there. Yep. There we go, that's one round. And that's the second. So that's the market, let's get that built. It's uh, 51 items to be removed. And let's keep our laborers up. Our food storage has also grown a lot, our food supplies. Cemetery. It's, it's fine, it's not too bad. Maybe at one point I'll actually move the church over here. And then we can get rid of this cemetery. It's probably nice if the church is on this side. But then... No... Uh, I, I don't know. It's also nice that it's kind of closer to the, the center of the town. So if we, wow, they're clearing it up already. And they're taking a rather interesting route back home. I mean, you've trained your legs at least. A merchant has arrived. Eggs, pears, walnuts, corn and wheat. Uh, our food is okay. We can trade some ale. Hmm. You know what? Let, let's get 500 eggs. And then if we trade around 100 ale. There we go. Let, let's have something else in our diet for once. And then we will dismiss him. Nope, uh, we should keep on working here. Uh, auto purchase. Can't really purchase anything like the uh, animals and such. No citizens available to work, I think. I just messed that up. Hmm. Trader one of one. Should be okay. There we go, now it's solved. How are the roads going? 
I can't believe they're taking so long to do that. There's some iron here. I think it's just a matter of bringing stone over here. That's probably what it is. Actually, you know what? Oh, not 14. Let's, uh, let's get two more people working here. The market on here, on this side, is almost finished. And then... I kind of want to see if we can get one of each. Let's place a well over there. Some housing. The pastures on the coast over there, or maybe a bit more inwards. Some housing on this side. Schools, I think, are okay. Maybe. Uh, no, that, that's fine. Yeah. Double the capacity still. And if we. Hmm. If we have a market there, we don't really need the storage barns. That's what the market is for. We will need some housing. That's three of them. Slowly expanding. We have 79 stored stone. Not a lot, but it's also not really less. We can collect that stone. Our firewood is doing okay. Our logs are also doing reasonably fine, considering that we always have 300 extra in our trading post. Uh, that's iron. Or... Well, I think it's iron, but it's at least already set to be collected, so that's fine. Lemmeth has become an adult and is working as a laborer. So far, so good. Our mine is 67%. It goes down quite quickly without a quarry. Our mine is still at 93%. Nerfing was born. And our market is almost done. A lot of things still need to be collected. We have our houses. And then we really should get our roads done. I don't really want to prioritize the roads as such. Oh, got to replace a bit of road here. There we go. That was a sneaky hidden road. Got a few more laborers. And we're slowly getting there. Almost tempted to actually open this one up, but maybe we're okay on iron for now. And look at the amount of coal here. Should we just get a let's get a small storage area here? Small stockpile. Something like this. Let's see if they actually move the things around. So much coal everywhere. Yep, 70, 75. Well, to be fair, it looks like it's a lot more. Uh, we probably need to get this changed to stone as well. How far are they on this side? Somewhat far. Oh, this is interesting. So the road actually kind of goes underneath the building. Oh, huh. that looks pretty cool. A stone cutter died of old age. The 
it's at least good to know that most of our uh, townsfolks actually die of old age. Uh, and the market just needs to be built, so that's the 58 locks and 62 stone for a market, wow. That's a lot of materials for well, something that just looks like a few pieces of linen on a bunch of sticks. Who are you? Calf is not educated, but still a child, so well, of course not educated just yet. Speaking of educated, Marlon has become a student. Our cabin is... Ooh, we completely ran out of clothes. I wonder why... Our tailor still has leather. I think it's time to get a second tailor. Let's go to our production and... Do we want a, a tailor over here? I think it's nicer to kind of spread them apart. Though this is more of an industrial area. No, let, let's get another tailor over here. That's actually a perfect place. We're still kind of getting there. The farms are going okay. Still have one spot over there. With six laborers, you would expect that. Oh, there we go. That was... One bit of road being slammed in. I just kind of want to see if they're laborers or builders. Oh, come on now. Nobody's coming here. Are you doing? No. I, no. You? No. Anyone? Nope. Well, there's a merchant. Let's have a look. Walnut seeds. Pear seeds. Ooh, some stone is interesting. Do we have pears? Apple, cherry... No, so I do want to have the pears. I will also have... All of your stone. So we have 300 of this, 300 of that. We have 30 coats and 100 ale. Ooh, we need some more things. Where is the ale? Let's bump that up to, say, 200. Some walnuts we've gone. Pears, stone, logs. Well, logs we're fine with. So let's get this up, that up. We now have at least 32 coats and still 100 ale. We need just a few more things. Well, we really need, we, we need the stone. I think it's fine to buy the stone. We just need a... Oh, a, tra a trader is a bit slow. Oh, there we go. Wow, that was suddenly a lot. We need... Uh, that's fine. There we go. Cherries. So now we got pears as well. No... Is this a name? Huh. Yep, we will have to remove just a bit of road. That's resources. This is remove road. And that's actually something that will be prioritized. If I actually get the prioritization tool. Here we go. And let's get some pears. It's just pears. There we go. So that again gets us to... Oh, one more thing ticked off. That's really a lot of things. 
Brent cows, chickens. Our things over here. Almost done. So... Woodcutters, everything else is fine. Herdsman is not needed. Let's get a few more farmers. Food is okay. Iron is going down. You know what, let's... Oh, I always put the wrong thing there. Now it will be balanced between the two and I think that's okay. We, we do have quite a lot of coal as well. So three over here and three over there. That's fine. That's perfectly fine. Your Londra was born. Louis was born. Jacqueline was born. And this will be our new town expansion. I don't think I will go for a hospital just yet. It doesn't really seem like it's getting used too much. I think, however, a tavern might be a nice one to have over here. Hmm. Do we want to have that around the market or more? You know, just a bit out of town. Well, not really out of town, but... Hmm, let's see, the road is there. We have a tavern over here. Yeah, that's too far to go. Oh, if you want to have a quick drink. And then, besides that... Schoolhouse, hospital... Maybe a chapel as well. A seaside chapel. Hmm... That's something for later. Let's see, the road here is now fixed up. We are slowly making our way to the center. Emphasis on slowly. But it, it's also part of the, the stone. What are your problems? Not enough materials. There are 49 berries over. Oh, I think it's like 50 berries or something they use. Hmm. Maybe you just need a second gatherer's hut. Hello. 92 ale, it, it's fine. Ale is fine, food is fine. Daryl is born. Ooh, Artis has become a student now. Yay. So, well, our market is getting there. But... I think it's going to be a nice time to uh, end this episode. And, well, let's see in the next one how far we get in expanding our city. Getting this village up. Maybe even getting a few animals. If the traders or the merchants really actually, you know, want to be part of, you know, our nice side. But for now, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please leave a comment and a like. Subscribe if you haven't done so. And I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.